Alrighty guys, welcome back to the next episode of the Ingolstadt Manager Career Mode. Now, we're moving in to August, so obviously the second episode of Season 2. In the first episode, we had uh, a little bit of transfer willing and dealing, bought a couple of players, sold a couple of players, and had a one-all draw with Barcelona that we should have really won. But, uh, in this episode, we're going to be moving on into some competitive fixtures. So we've got one more friendly against Roma, which we'll just be using a rotation squad in. And then we move on into the Bundesliga. So we've got a couple of games here against Hamburg and Bayern Munich to open up the season. And then we have uh, the first league away from home of the Champions Cup qualification round. I think that's Panathinaikos, uh, the Greek side we've got to play against. And then Hertha, then the home league against Panathinaikos, and then Schalke. So seven big games this episode. Uh, I'm just going to pretty much show just the goals in this game against Roma because otherwise it's going to be a way too long of an episode. So uh, let's get into it and see how we do. And then Golan here plays it out to Seydou Dumbia. Cuts back inside. He's so quick on the ball. Has a shot and he puts it into the back of the net. Roma up 1-0 within 11 minutes. Not good at all. Oh, play it over. Kachunga cuts inside. There we go. Kachunga, you're away, son. Keep going. Oh, Manolas is too quick. And that is the end of the game. Unfortunately, we only get a 1-0 defeat there against Roma. They were very good. Playing our rotation side gave us a, a couple of ideas of how we're going to go this season with some other players. Uh, Svensson actually played okay, had a couple of shots, a um, couple of got saved though, so a little unfortunate, but let's get into the first game now, and it's going to be against Hamburg, so a big, big game coming up at uh, the Bundesliga season. Oh, here we go, a monthly scouting update, here we go. Alrighty, a four foot 11 15 year old. Alrighty, let's just keep... So I'm pretty sure what I've never done before is if I leave me near, they can scout him a little bit better and find out exactly what they could be. Oh, there we go. He looks okay. 16-year-old between 52 and 70 at the moment. He can go between 76 and 94. So I think we'll get rid of anyone absolutely crap. So we'll get rid of him. Reject that. Here we go. 67 and 91. Not bad. He's 4 foot 11 though. So we'll let, let it scout out a little bit. Um, 32 to 46. Oh, I don't know. We'll probably let that get rid of that. Here we go. 67 and 91, 68 and 92, and then 76 and 94. We'll let that be scouted a little bit further, and uh, we'll see how he goes with it. Here we go. Big Mo Hartman is now gone to Fulham. 450,000 pounds into the kitty. So now the only one in our squad that is not part of the first 11 or backup 11 is Nguma, our backup centre back. So. Leaving it a little bit high and dry if we get some uh, some injuries and stuff like that, but uh, if that does happen, we do have a little bit of a uh, little bit of money now. If we need to go for a loan player or if we need to go back the other way, we can sort of buy a player for a mil or so in the January if we need to. But uh, we do have um, Christensen on loan as well, which we can bring back. So we've got a couple of options. Normally, I don't really like to leave it that short. Normally. I it's good to have maybe one player as a backup, like a backup right wing and left wing, so you have five, if you know what I mean. So in case someone's injured, you've got that backup to put in, so you've still got four. But uh, that's not too bad. So let's get into this game against Hamburg. We're going to be using uh, our full first team 11. I think everyone should be pretty much fit, and they are. So uh, let's get into this game here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we can get a win. Here we go, the short corner routine. Play it back. Cohen, head of a hit. Oh my god, it's at the post! That's so unlucky! Oh, Danilo with the cutout. Gives it to Lecky as well. Lecky should be away here. Play it through down to Kachunga. Should be able to cut back inside Kachunga. Does as well. Play it all the way down. Have a hit, sexy Lexi. Get in. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lex plays it all the way through to Morpay, who's now off the bench. Thanks. Kachunga's on the bench. Morpay steps inside. Cuts back. Has a hit. Oh my god. He puts it in the back of the net. Morpay gets the opening goal of our Bundesliga campaign. Really shabby defending, to be fair. And pretty shabby goalkeeping as well. <laughs> but we'll take it. 1-0. Kleber, the centre-back, has pushed all the way forward. We might be able to get a counter-attack if we can get the ball. Oh, goes there for a throw-in. Let's see if we can go on a little counter here. There's probably not much time left, to be fair. But they've given us the ball. Play it up. Play it up again. Play it through again. And it should be more pay away. More pay. More pay. Finish it. Oh, no. It's a good save by Adler. A pretty terrible shot. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's probably going to be the last effort of the game, I would imagine. And it is. So, a 1-0 victory away from home on the opening game of the season at Hamburg. So, that's a pretty solid win there. So, uh, it's been an interesting preseason. A draw and a loss. But we're not really concerned too much about that. Uh, especially because the draw was against Barcelona away from home. 
and we should have won, and the, the loss was with a rotated side completely against Roma. So uh, I've got a few more players we're going to have a look at at Argentina, and then we're going to play a game at home against Bayern Munich. Alrighty, so we've got a couple of transfer offers here. First for Nyland, and he is going absolutely fucking nowhere. <laughs> A 24-year-old that's just joined the club last season could go up for uh, 7.2 mil. They're only offering four and a half, realistically. But anyway, he's going nowhere. We're not going to sell Nyland. He's our he's our best keeper now. We do have an offer here for Brejery, so it's a bit awkward this one, only because if we sell him and Guma's another backup centre back, we only have that means we only have 22 players in the squad. So I think. I don't know. I think I want to put it for... I'll put it up to 650 and see if I can get a, a response for at least what he's worth. And if they do accept it, then I'll look at bringing him a very young centre-back and, uh, and see how we go. Alrighty, so it looks like Montpellier have matched the uh, the offer for Brejery there. So what I'm going to do now is look and see if there's anyone in the, uh, the free agents that might be worth looking at as a centre-back so I don't have to pay a transfer fee. And if there's not, I might look for just a young centre-back that's going to be our fifth-string centre-back that uh, is going to be a backup if someone gets injured. Alrighty, so the main one that I might have a look at now is uh, Jung Hyun Su. So he's a 6'2 centre back. Looks like he could be fairly decent. Uh, fairly quick, decent enough strength. Maybe not the greatest standing tackle, but we'll uh, we'll have a look at him now. So, uh, so we'll approach to sign him. And what does he want? 5,000. So I might drop that down to 3 uh, and put him as a squad rotation player and just see what he says. And uh, if he says he might want some more weight, just we'll go up to the 5,000. And um, it's just for a, just having that backup centre back because we need someone else. I'm not sure how good he's going to be. He's just if we if we don't like him, we can sell him and get someone else in January. But um, let's get in this game against Bayern Munich and see if we can get three points. Oh, Robin here on the left wing using his pace gets a good cross in. Oh my god! And Muller has put it into the back of the net, and Bayern have taken a lead here. Not good whatsoever. So he got second top scorer last year. Only beaten out by M our man Kachunga. So we might be wanting to go for that uh, that helm this year. So I think we actually did the double over by in, uh, last year as well. So they might be a little bit dirty about it. Trying very hard at the start of this game. Oh, Robin here. Going to put a cross in. Well done, Danilo, to get rid of that. Now, can we do something here? Matty Leckie's on the ball. Oh, draw it in. Run it in. Run it in. Oh, he plays through sexy Lexi. Might have to cut back here. Does well. Passes it in. Have a hit. Oh my god, Gerhardt's put it in the back of the net. What a finish by the young center mid there. Gerhardt. Beautiful run from Lecky. Passes it through to Lex. And he puts it in the back of the net, Gerhardt. What a strike. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't know what just happened. But somehow Muller's put it in the back of the net. That 90-something positioning that he's got on him has done him well. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, good ball played over the top here. Kachunga, cut back, cuts back. Should be able to play it through. Oh my god, Gross should be able to finish it. <gasps> no! No! Oh no, Rhodes gone through, and he's finished it. 3 0. Oh, they're ripping us apart here, Bayern. They're showing their class. Lecky. Oh, Lex plays it through to Lecky. Cuts back down. Oh, Lecky should be able to keep running. Finish it. Get in. There we go. Good goal by Lecky. Beautiful ball through by Lex. I think it was actually Kachunga that made the tackle back on like the halfway line. Oh, that little left trigger, right trigger. Opens up the angle. Straight under Neuer. 3-2. We're still in it. Oh, okay. So we got it out. And I think that might be the end of the game. All right. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the ball back to go on a bit of a break there. We lose 3-2 against Bayern. We did well to keep in the game, to be fair. And unfortunately, that's just not quite good enough. So now, we have some uh, some things to decide on. So what we'll do is we'll have the, uh, the press conference there, get rid of that, play a conversation. And Guma wants to be uh, playing a little bit more. Well, he's playing the next game here against Panathinaikos. So I think I'm just going to be playing the rotation side here against Panathinaikos, or at least a few rotation players anyway, just to see how we go. Alrighty, here we go. So it looks like a player is sold. Contract offer received. Uh, all right, the wage is too low. So he wants his 5K. So we'll give him his 5K. And we'll keep him as a squad rotation player because I don't know how much he's going to be playing. I don't think he's really got the greatest stats. Um, I was keeping an eye on Gillibodji. He's going to cost way too much for us at this point in time, though. So uh, Brejery has gone out of the club. A bit more cash coming into the club. 
which at the moment we're just looking at using on wages. How much cash do we have? We've got a bit bit of money to work with though. So maybe we can maybe look at bringing in someone a bit better than uh, this uh, young Korean center back. We'll have a quick look and see if there's anyone on the market. And uh, I'll get back to you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, so what I've decided to do is I'm just going to roll with the uh, the young Korean center back here. And maybe look at... I'm, just, I'm paranoid about wages and people getting contract offers and people wanting contracts and stuff like that. So I might just keep all this budget in wages for now. And um, if people want a new contract... Um, and then we'll just leave it for now. So if they, if they do want a new contract, it shouldn't really happen too much, I suppose, considering we gave pretty much everyone a contract at the end of last year. But if it does happen, we want to have the cash to be able to do it. And uh, we can look at maybe... I think what I might do is try and buy someone on a pre-contract, maybe for next year, because I think if I quickly have a look, because we've got Jill Abodji that we've been looking at, I think Jill Abodji actually runs out his contract next year. Yes, here we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, so contract expiring in 11 months. So maybe in January we can look at getting him because he's only 26. He looks very, very good. And look at him realistically. Look at that. It's great speed, great strength, beautiful tackling stats as well. This guy looks like an absolute monster. And he could seriously be next year our partner for Kalas at the back. And um, that just looks like it might be the way to go. So him and Kalos with Nguma and Klosterman as the backups next year. I think that might be the way to go. So I might save some cash and see if we can get him in that way. And uh, let's get into this game against Panathinaikos. I'm pretty sure it's Panathinaikos. If I'm wrong, I'm a douche pot. Uh, but it is Payok anyway. Uh, we'll go red against Black Sea. There we go. They've got a white kit. That'll do. Um, so let's have a look at how we're going with fitness. We might rotate a couple of players. So uh, we'll get Gerhard off and give Van a game. Hubnarov will give uh, Nguma a game. He's been complaining a little bit, so we'll give him a run. And apart from that, everyone's looking pretty good, so I'll run with a, a pretty good squad here. Let's just see if we can get through into the... Uh, get, get a good lead here away from home and maybe get through into the Champions League group stage, which is our objective this year. Alrighty, so it turns out I am a retard. It's not actually Panathinaikos. They've got a sort of Irish-looking badge with a, a clover on it. They've got the green badge. It's just Payok, which... I looked it up and it has a weird, weird name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Um, but it still doesn't change the fact that they are a Greek side. It's going to be tough against them. Let's see if we can do it here. Oh, Kachunga. Cut back inside. Oh, steps around. Have a hit. Kachunga. Oh my god, he gets dropped. Is it a penalty? It is. Kachunga wins a penalty within four minutes. Can we put it into the back of the net? Here we go. Kachunga here against Glikos. Can we put it top right? Can we put it top right? Oh, it's a beautiful save by the keeper. Oh, that's frustrating. What the absolute fuck just happened? I didn't commentate that at all, thinking, you know, it's a nice air ball. Nyland should be able to take it down. He's a keeper. He can jump. And that happened. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I didn't commentate that one either. What is going on in this game? I'm not even going to think about trying to pronounce that. All these Greek names are so hard to say. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who is this team? This Greek team. Robert Mack. Oh, what is going on? This has not been a good game. I mean... The objective is to qualify for the Champions League here. I'm pretty sure if we lose this, we go into the Europa League. Hopefully, that's how it works anyway. Oh, my. It's just not good enough, though. 3-0 within the first half. I mean, we are away from home. But still... Kachunga. Oh, plays it through. Oh, is that a... It's a penalty. That is so lucky. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty, now we've got to put this penalty in. Now, what side do we go? I don't know. Oh... Here we go, Kachunga, second time, going top left. Can we put it in past the keeper? We do. All right, we get one back here against Payok. Oh, my goodness. All right, we need to get some more goals. Even if they, we lose by one or two, if we get a couple of away goals, that will help. Oh, Lex, play it. Oh, my goodness, finish it. There we go. That is so lucky. We get one back here. All right, there's still time. I might make some subs now quickly. All right, let's bring on more pay up top. Uh, I'm not going to go 4-2-4 up the top like we do sometimes, just because we have an away leg. So I don't want to go all all out 
Um, I want to actually, you know, say something for the away leg. I, I think if we get a couple of away goals here like we have, we might be able to just scratch run, even if it's a 1-0. Like, if it finishes 3-2, we get a 1-0 win at home. We're through on away goals, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, here we go. More pay. Play it through. Oh, there we go. Lex, you should be able to should be able to get there. Lex, finish it. Get in. Oh, Lex has put it in. That is the three goals that we needed. There we go. Three all. What a comeback. From being 3-0 down in the first half, Lex tucks it under the keeper to make it 3 all. Oh, my goodness. All goals at that one end. You'd be fucking cheering if you were behind those nets. Oh, my goodness. All right. 3 all is a beautiful way away from home. Like... Realistically, it's it's so much better than nil all because you've got those three away goals. So that is awesome. That is the end of the game, guys. A beautiful comeback there, to be fair. Three all, I mean, I would have preferred a win, but from where we were in the first half, that is a beautiful result. And those three away goals could be crucial in the next leg. So uh, now let's get into this next game in the league. Not quite sure who it's against. I completely forget. But we will check in a second. We get an email here. What is it? It's another scout report. So, advance on. We've got a game here against Hertha Berlin. So, always a tough score to come up against. Uh, hopefully, we can get three points. And uh, we can hear back from, uh, hopefully, this... Do we hear back? Yeah, there we go. Contract offer accepted. We hear back from the centre-back. We'll bring him into the club. And let's have a quick look at him and see. I'm thinking he's probably going to be maybe a low to mid-60s, I would say. Based on the wage and based on everything. Let's have a look. Probably 64, 65. There we go, yeah, 65, so I sort of called it. Um, 66 acceleration, 67 sprint speed, 70 strength. Uh, where we go, marking, 65. There we go, so it's not bad. Uh, for a centre-back, it's not really that bad. And uh, he's going to be just a decent sort of fifth-string centre-back if we need him. So uh, we'll take that. Uh, it's actually really not bad at all. So what other emails do we have? So obviously a new signing, a couple of scout reports and stuff like that. So let's get into this game against Hertha Berlin and see if we can get a win. All right, so we're playing a bit of a rotational squad here against Hertha. Svensson is in at uh, at left wing. We've put Blecky on the right. More pay has come in. Morales has come in. Uh, Sertner has come in. And Klossman has come in. So hopefully we can get the three points here against the team in Berlin. And uh, let's see how we do. Oh, More pay got the ball. Plays it up to Svensson. Here we go. Where's Lecky? Is he running? Oh, Svensson's probably not quick enough to be a winger. More pay's picked it up, though. Play it down, out to uh, out to Lecky. Cut back in, cut inside. Play it up to Morpé. Step down, have a hit sign. Morpé, get it in. There we go. That is 1-0. Oh, that's a great ball. Is Svensson onside, though? If he is, oh, he gets absolutely dropped. That should be a red card. Svensson was in for his first goal. And it, oh, it's a yellow card. I mean, there was a defender inside, I suppose. But still, it's going to be lucky to see if he can whip one into the top right. See if we can put this in. Oh, has not got over the wall. Oh, my God. Keep us out. Can we go over? Oh, it's corn just wide. And that is the end of the game. We get a 1-0 victory there away from home. Doing well at the moment in the league. I suppose six points from nine games. Considering the, the lost game was against Bayern Munich, uh, you can't really go too wrong with that. So uh, there you go. Bayern absolutely smashing mains 3-0 there, as you can see. Alrighty, so we're going with a pretty much full-strength squad, except for Nguma's playing at centre-back instead of uh, instead of Hubner. I'm, I'm seriously surprised at Lecky's ability to get himself back to full fitness. His stamina is ridiculous, which I'm happy with because he's one of our best players. So, now let's see if we can get at least a... Uh, even, a even a draw or something would be good, like a, a low-scoring draw would be good and get us through here. But I want to try and get a win here, so let's see how we do. Oh, Cohen plays it through. Lecky should be almost away here. Cut back. Oh, there we go. We've done him completely. Step around the keeper. Finish it. What a goal from Matty Lecky. Oh, my goodness. That was honestly beautiful. That was just pretty to watch. Within three minutes as well. That is... Oh, just... You come to our place. You come to our stadium. We're going to show you how to counter-attack. It's not really a counter... Uh, not really so much of a counter-attack. But a beautiful quick break. And 1-0. Uh, That's all it takes. Get Lecky on the ball, and he's absolutely gone. What a ball from Cohen as well. Got to give that props. Oh, they've got a red card. I didn't think that tackle was as bad as it was. I mean, he went through the back of me, to be fair. But it is a red card, so it's even going to be harder now for Payoff to get back into this tie. Uh-oh. Problems here. Get rid of that. He's a big boy. Oh, Naboa gets him back into it. It is 1-1. We're still going through on away goals at this point. We don't want to give up another one, though. 
Oh, here we go. Kachunga. Oh, the ball roll. Can he finish it? Kachunga, get in. <gasps> Straight at the keeper. Oh, that was a beautiful attempt there. Get rid of that ball. There we go. Now we might be on a bit of a break here for sure. Oh, Lex plays it straight through. Morpé is absolutely gone. He's got Lecky with him as well. He's going to use him. Just use him. There we go. And Lecky puts it in the back of the net. There we go. Hug him. There we go. That is the goal that we needed. Oh, Lecky's got him. Lecky, you're away. That's got to be a red. That has got to be a red. That is. There's two red cards up there now. Oh my goodness, Lecky got absolutely dropped. We were away for another goal there. We are going into the Champions League group stages. Oh, uh, pods of glue. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, they almost got one back. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, here we go. Now we're on. Lecky played all the way up. There we go. Beautiful ball. Should be able to get down. Oh, it's not a good ball through. But it is the end of the game. We win 5-4 there against Payok on aggregate. Obviously a 2-1 win on the night, and we are through into the group stages of the Champions League. And if this get, that might actually give us some money. I'm not sure if we get money for getting to the group stages or not. I think maybe at the end? I'm not sure when the money comes if we win the group stages. Let's have a look and see if we get any any money here. Tournament prize money. Yeah, there we go. We get 1.36 mil there for getting into the group stages of the Champions League. And obviously we'll get more even if we get knocked out, so... That's good stuff. Argentina, you're coming to an end. Let's go. Let's go for. Uh, mm, let's go to Chile. Maybe we can find some decent Chilean players. Alrighty. So now we've got some. Got some, got a bit of dosh now that we can sort of splash around with. Maybe I'll, I'll look at getting a couple of players by the end of this. Uh, by the end of this transfer window. So now we've got about two mil. We can maybe buy a player with. Uh, let me have a look. Alrighty guys, so we're looking at maybe getting a right back. So I don't know of anyone else that I can really maybe look at. Ashton Goss looks pretty quick and very strong. Uh, very young as well. Looks like he could be a decent right back. So we might just inquire about this guy. Because we might be able to put... Because Engel's not very happy at the club. We might be able to put him into bit, a bit of the deal to... Uh, to get him out of the club and uh, bring Gotts in. It might be just a little bit of a swap, and he's only going to be a backup centre-back behind DaCosta. All right, so Ashton Gotts is about $2.5 million. Now, I don't want to spend that much, so we might just go 500 k plus, uh, plus Engel and see what they say. I mean, it's probably not going to be uh, realistic that they'll go for it that much. Where's Engel? There he is. Constantine Engel. What's he worth, Engel? Uh, 400k. So I'll go... F We'll go 600k plus 400k. It's about a mil. So we'll put a mil in for Gots and see what they say. Oh, here we go. Morales plays through Svensson. Have a hit, son. Get in. Oh, no. Oh, Kachunga gets on the end of it. Beautiful finish there. Celebrating with Svensson, who made the beautiful run. And it is 1-0 here at home against Schalke. We're doing so well in the season so far. Six points from a possible nine. Let's see if we can make it nine from a possible 12. Oh, Draxler here in the middle of the box. Oh, a little bit of a heel-to-heel -heel flick. Crosses it in. Oh, what a beautiful move by Draxler. Sets it up for Chupo Moting. Ah, oh, so good. Play it through. Get a goal. There we go. More pay on the ball. Gets played through by Gross, I think it was. Oh, no, Gross is not on the field. I don't know who it was that played him through. Either way, three goals in the Bundesliga for more pay. Could be a bit of a breakout season for the youngster. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Done well. There we go. A big victory there against Schalke to finish off the games for the episode. Seven big games. We've done pretty well, to be fair. So we've got through into the Champions League uh, group stages, which is awesome. We've got a bit of cash for doing that also. And then we've got nine points from a possible 12, and the only one that we lost was against Bayern Munich. So got a few more scout reports. Here we go. Hamburg. Uh, not interested in Engel. Alrighty, so... I don't know. I don't know whether I want to get rid of Engel or not. Like I probably do. How old's Engel? Let's have a look. How old's Engel? He's 27 and 65 rated, so he's not good enough. Let's just put that up up to 1.5 mil for uh, for for Gotts. And uh, then what I might do is I'll just put Engel up on the transfer list. Alrighty. So it looks like they don't want 1.5. They've gone up to 1.9. We'll go to 1.7. Meet him halfway. And see what they say about Gotts. I'm not sure if I want to go through with it, though. I know I have to get rid of Engel. <sighs> Just, I don't know. We'll take the gamble on Gotts. If Engel sells and we get a bit more cash in for contracts and stuff if we need to. Uh, we've got a transfer offer for Stefan Lex, who's not going anywhere. I mean, he's only 69 rated, but he, he's, he's our sexy Lexi. He ain't going anywhere. So, we'll keep him. Uh, reject again for Lex. 
Just not good enough. He's not going anywhere. Transfer offer accepted for Gotts, which is good. And uh, we'll give him the four years. We'll give him a squad rotation player. Because we don't want him to think he's going to be uh, an important first team player when he's probably not, realistically. So uh, let's advance on. And we want to see if we can get a transfer in for Engel. That would be the best thing. Contract offer accepted for for uh, Ashton Gotts, which is good. So we've got another right back in the club. Now let's have a look at his stats. So we'll do that now. We'll give him the number uh, the number 22 shirt in a second. Obviously, I'll fix all that up for the next episode. He's a 66 rated right back, so he's a lot better than uh, than uh, Engel right now anyway, and he's younger. So it's an upgrade, good acceleration, good strength, you know, decent, just decent stats all around for a right back. And look at that, can play right back, left back, right mid, and CDM as well. So he can uh, definitely help us out there. So a beautiful signing there, Gots, realistically. Just hope we can get rid of Engel by the end of the transfer window. I don't know if we will, because it doesn't look like any offers are coming in for him. Um, but you know, whatever. Even if it doesn't, you know, even if it doesn't happen, he'll just stay into the club. There, it's not the the end of the world. Realistically, we'll probably get rid of him in January. But uh, I might just skip ahead, and if anything happens, I'll bring it up. But otherwise, I'll see you guys at the one hour mark, and we'll go through the teams. Alrighty, here we go. So Kaiserslautern, and Matip and Panilla in. Uh, Van der Vaart is at Cologne now, that's interesting. Mainz have done nothing. Hoffenheim have sold Schwab uh, for no, so it's either a, a pre-contract agreement or a loan or something. Leno, 10 million, has gone out of Leverkusen, that's interesting. Dortmund have brought in uh, Benumar, Zach the striker, Dueland and Miranchuk, I don't know the rest of them. Uh, Dragovic is centre back to uh, Mönchengladbach and Hergot has gone out. Uh, so it looks like that's Frankfurt have got in Harnack and Kalu and sold Trap the keeper. Interesting. I think that's Frankfurt, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Um, Augsburg have sold Werner. Bayern Munich brought in Silva, Niang, and Nabry. I'm assuming that's Thiago Silva. Um, that's interesting. So we've obviously made some moves, brought in a couple of young players, and sold a few and loaned a few out as well. So um, we're a little bit down on, uh, on money out of the whole thing, but we've got some better players. So uh, Goretzka and Sobotka are out of Schalke. Hamburg brought in Martins, might be the striker Obafemi, and got rid of Van der Vaart and Gotts. Uh, Hanover have got rid of Jimmy Brian, that's interesting. Werner has gone to a Hertha, and Pekrik and Kalu obviously out of Hertha as well. Freiburg, nothing. And Wolfsburg have brought in Kevin Trapp, so that'll be interesting to see how he goes there. And Werder Bremen have done nothing, so that will be the end of this episode. So it's been a very, very long episode. It's been crazy. I've recorded all in one hour. Uh, all in one go, which has been a little bit crazy, but it's been a lot of fun, and uh, we've uh, done pretty well, realistically, so uh, we are now sitting fifth in the table, we need to get top six, uh, is our is our goal for this season, Munchen Gladbach up there, in, um, undefeated along with Bayer Leverkusen, and Hanover 96 also undefeated, Bayern Munich have lost a game though, and uh, Wolfsburg also undefeated, but there are one win and three draws, so still behind us, so... An interesting start to the uh, to the second season here. We're doing fairly well at the start. We're also in the Champions League uh, group stages. Actually, what I will check is to see where we're sitting in the group stages tables. Let's find the Champions League and see who we've got to play against. Um, there we go, Copa Europe. Let's see if we can find the Champions League. Here we go. So, whoa, I, was about, I looked at the top two teams. I'm like, thank God we're not in that group, but we are. We're against Barcelona, Man United, and Marseille. How the freaking God are we meant to get out of that group? <laughs> even though we'll probably get a few mil, even if we get eliminated from the group. All we need to do is reach the group stages. So what I might do, if we play against, uh, play some games in the group stage, I might just play the rotational squads, depending on our fitness and stuff. I'm going to concentrate on more on the league because we've, we've uh, achieved our goal of the Champions League and uh, I don't think I want to go nuts and just sort of... Uh, don't think I want to go nuts and go all out. Because I don't think we're, go we're going to be winning it, realistically. And um, it'd probably be better for us with the team that we've got right now if we concentrate on the league and just maybe even just half give up on the Champions League. But obviously we'll try and win the games, but wouldn't be uh, the worst thing if we didn't get through. So this will be the end of the episode. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back next month with some more games. And I've been Vio, and peace.